The Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs, Shamfa Kojo, shared some personal experiences with students in order to give them hope for their own lives. She was speaking at the Trinidad and Tobago Youth Conference on Wednesday morning. Marie Therese Bernard has more. Minister Shamfa Kajo told youthful attendees they could encounter disappointments even after finishing school with honours. And then I returned to Trinidad and Tobago excited to jump into the workforce. And I, when I returned, there was no job for me. I spent months home. I had the education, I had the experience, I had international experience, and I felt ready. I remember being offered to uh, stay in the U.S. as a consultant for the IBB. And when I was asked, I said, no, I'm going home. My country needs me. Despite returning home so well qualified, she found herself without a job, but was still determined to make a contribution. I went out, started meeting with stakeholders. Every time the chief secretary had a public day, I was sure to be there because I'm qualified, I need a job. And I would have already served as CARICOM Youth Ambassador, UN Youth Ambassador, so I couldn't understand why I couldn't land a job. And I became a pessimist, as Mark Twain would have said before, and you begin to feel very negative feelings about the country, like it's no place for youth and no place for youth development, and why did I come back? She says even though at one point she had to accept a secretarial post, she used the opportunity to put her opinions in documents being sent to the chief secretary. This got her work recognized and she was invited to speak at a conference for youth. I wasn't making big bucks, but I had the opportunity to speak. And that is why it is so important for young people to, to be granted opportunities to have their voices heard. Minister Kujo admits it can be hard for youth in today's world, but she strongly believes that a positive attitude will determine where you end up. She urged the youth not to give up on their attempts to make contributions to the country and to be the young leaders they truly are. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News.